The circumference C of a circle is a function of its radius given by C of R is equal to 2 pi R. Express the radius of a circle as a function of its circumference. So there's several ways we can look at this. So let's say we have the circumference of a circle, all right, is a function of the radius. In other words, it's going to be equal to 2 pi times R. Now you can just leave this, you, you can just write this as C if you want, just, you know, and you might recognize this formula as 2 pi R, right? So circumference is equal to 2 pi multiplied by the radius of the circle, all right? This is how you probably see it normally. This is now a little more, you know, math, a little more math notation, but that's the idea. Now, when they're stating this part of the question, express the radius of a circle as a function of its circumference. I reinterpret that to mean solve the function, aka the equation, the equation for r. That's what it really means. Express the radius of a circle as a function of its circumference. So essentially what I want is I want r equal to some bunch of numbers, blah, 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 or letters with a c in it. That's what I want. So if we look at this original thing, we can do it like this. If I had to solve this for r, uh, this whole equation for r, what I would do is I would write, first I would just copy it down, and then I know I got to get rid of the two pi, so I got to divide that on out from both sides. That cancels on the right, and that's going to be c over 2 pi. Now notice what I have. I'm just going to write it nice now. I'm going to write r. That's a c. r is equal to c over 2 pi. And this now represents the radius as a function of the circumference. Okay? Meaning as I change the circumference, I just plug it into this formula and I can find the radius right away. Right? So... This formula represents the circumference as a function of radius, and this formula represents the circumference as a function, uh, let, no, <laughs> one more time, one more time. This represents the circumference of a circle as a function of its radius, and this represents the radius of a circle as a function of its circumference. So this is one way to have solved the problem. Just literally take your original and solve it for r. Okay, another way to do it is like this. You can technically do this inverse stuff, but why would you? Because it's a little more complicated. All right. Now imagine I'm going to switch my I'm going to switch my c and my r. Okay. So in other words, I'm going to write my r here, and I'll write my c over there. All right. Now this is the inverse function, basically, when I switch it around. But if I want to solve this for c, I'd have to divide out the two pi, right, from both sides. So this would look like this, c is equal to two pi, uh, r over 2 pi. Now this right here represents the inverse function. But to get it back to the original function then of what it should represent, right? To get it back to the original, all you have to do here is you're literally going to take the r and switch it with the c. And notice how this, actually, and what I do is I'll copy it. This now represents the radius as a function then of the circumference, which is exactly what we said over here, okay? So you don't have to go through all this inverse stuff and blah, blah, blah. Just, just solve it on out. It's so much easier that way, okay? So it says call this function r of c. So instead of, I guess, calling this r, we should technically call it r of c now, okay? Equals c over 2 pi. And then it says find r of 36 pi and interpret its meaning. So basically what this is saying, find the radius when the circumference is equal to 36 pi. So if you're finding the radius, okay, if you're finding the radius, which of these two equations will you use? It turns out you can use either one, technically, all right? Uh, but it might be easier to use this one because it's already solved for r. So r is equal to c over 2 pi. So if I plug in the circumference value of 36 pi, as we just mentioned, and just divide that then by the 2 pi, notice what happens here. Pi's go bye-bye, and this can reduce down to now 18. So in other words, I now know that the radius is equal to 18. What does that actually mean? That means that when 
the circumference is equal to 36 pi. If you knew that, then I can find the radius and that should be equal to 18, okay? You did not have to use this formula to solve it. You could have used this one. In other words, you could have plugged in 36 pi for the circumference here and then did a little algebra to find the radius. Doesn't matter, all right? They're both gonna be the same uh, in the end. So that takes care of that, guys. All right, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. If it did, help us out. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. All right, check out some of the other videos. And uh, we only, yeah, we, we have thousands of them, so there's plenty to check out. And we'll see you soon. All right, take care.